After battling both polio and scarlet fever as a kid, Wilma Rudolph was told she would never walk again. It was difficult to find a hospital to treat a black child with polio, and so for years, Rudolph's mother drove over 50 miles to get her daughter the help she needed. By age 12, Rudolph was walking, and in 1956, just four years later, she won her first Olympic medal in track and field. She was only 16 years old. Then, for the 1960 Summer Games in Italy, Rudolph stunned the world, becoming the first American woman to earn three gold medals in one Olympics, and it cemented her nickname, the fastest woman in the world. When she returned to the States, she refused to be part of any celebration that was a segregated event. So her homecoming parade and banquet were the first fully integrated municipal events in her hometown of Clarksville, Tennessee. Wilma Rudolph was a born fighter and paved the way for generations to come.